Skill number 15, dress the resident with a paralyzed and contracted arm. Okay, so do your introduction. Wash your hands. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, I'm CNA Christine. Is it okay if I can come in? They say yes. Good morning. Is it okay if I check your wristband? They say yes. Okay, Mrs. Jones. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. It's nice to meet you. I'm here to uh, change your gown. Is that okay if I help you with that? She says yes. Okay, Mrs. Jones. Um, is there a particular gown color or gown that you wanted uh, for me to grab that you know we can change your gown with? She says she wants her blue one. Okay, Mrs. Jones. Well, I'm going to step out of the room and grab that um, gown for you. So if you need anything, hit your call light and I'll be right back, okay? There you go. Wash my hands, leave the room to get her gown. So your supplies are going to be, of course, protective barrier to put the supplies on on the side table. Her gown, of course, bath blanket. Okay, Mr. Jones, I just set up my station. Let me just go ahead and close the curtain for privacy. Make sure the wheels are locked. Raise the bed to my working level and lower the side rail on the side that I'm working on. So for the state test, the card's gonna be specific onto which side is their paralyzed side. Um, so you just have to remember always, and it says it in your American Red Cross packet, that you're going to dress the weaker side first and undress the stronger side. So before I get started, what I'll do is undress the left side because that's their stronger side and then because with that arm being free you can promote independence by asking them okay mrs jones with your stronger arm do you think you can go ahead and take off the rest of the gown but for the state test you're going to have to do this skill in its entirety so remember undressing the strong arm first and then dressing the weaker side with the new gown okay mrs jones I'm go ahead and start off by putting this bath blanket if you can assist me by holding this blanket in place, so I can just remove your top sheets. How's your day so far, Mrs. Jones? How's it? Doing good? Having a good time? Get to watch bingo and stuff? That's great. So if you're able to talk and add like personal touch to your skill, um, you know, that's brownie points for you with the evaluators. But if not, just make sure you do the skill in its entirety. So make sure you move her regular sheets to the foot of the bed. All right, Mr. Jones. And if you need to, you can raise the head of the bed so um, it's a lot easier on your back, or if not, you can keep her in the flat position. So for me, I said that her weaker side is going to be her right side. So at this point, we're getting ready to undress her, so I'll undress her on her stronger side first. Okay, hey, Mrs. Jones, if you can sit up for me, I'm just going to go ahead and unbutton your gown. Okay, so I'm just going to assist you by getting your arm out from your gown. Okay, so always try to keep her covered up with the bath blanket. Okay, Mrs. Jones, are you able to use your stronger arm to take off your gown? She said no. It's okay, I'll go ahead and assist you with that as well. So now that you're working on the weaker side, just make it a point to be very gentle because this side is contractured or it's paralyzed. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm just gonna expose your arm a little bit for me. Slowly hold your arm. Let me know at any point if you're feeling any pain discomfort, okay? So I'm just gonna reach in and remove this gown. Okay, just keep you covered. Slowly bend your arm for me if you can. Thank you, Mrs. Jones, for helping me out. Really appreciate your assistance with this. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and rest your arm back down, Mrs. Jones, all right? If we're covered, then just go ahead and remove the rest of the gown from her body. Jones, just lift up for me. Thank you so much. If you can hold the bath blanket in place, Mrs. Jones. Oops, sorry, Mrs. Jones. Okay, so verbalize, put this in a soiled linen barrel. I didn't use gloves, but if you don't, you don't have to. It doesn't say in your packet. 
But since you've touched dirty, you would make it a point for the evaluator to sanitize my hands. So I'm going to sanitize my hands. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I got your new gown. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this over you real quick. And so remember, you're going to dress their weaker arm first. So remember, for this video purpose, her right arm is the weaker arm. So I'm going to start with that arm first. So be gentle. Ms. Jones, I'm just going to lift your arm. I can just go ahead and feed it through this sleeve hole. There we go. Okay, Mrs. Jones, just go ahead and rest that arm, all right? Then you can reach over to the left arm and just assist her with that. Grab the gown, feed her arm through the sleeve hole. At this point, I'll just go ahead and hold this stationary for her and move the bath blanket from out from under her gown and recover her back up with that. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to have you sit up for me one more time because I'm going to tie the back of your gown. One, two, three. There we go. Just go ahead and tie the gown. Okay. All right, Mrs. Jones, go ahead and lay back down for me. And all that's left is to return her normal sheets and remove the bath blanket. Hold on to that top sheet for me, Mrs. Jones. I'm just going to remove your blanket. Okay, verbalized soiled linen barrel. Once again, verbalized sanitize my hands, clean up my station. And then at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure Mrs. Jones is okay. Is there anything else I can do for you before I leave, Mrs. Jones? Okay, so I'm going to just give you your call light. If you need anything, hit your call light and I'll be right back. Okay, here's your bed controls, Mrs. Jones. Make sure the wheels are locked. Return the bed to its lowest position. Make sure her side table is within reach with her belongings. Here you go, Mrs. Jones. One side roll up, one side roll down for the state test. Go to the foot of the bed, check her alignment. Those are locked once again. Open the curtain, wash my hands, and document.